recording. Start streaming. All right. Well, it's. I hope. Okay. I hope that people can see. Well, it's going. I guess. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay. Fine. They. They already. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. Whatever. They. They just. They just really wanted to go. So they wanted to start. They it's really fine. Hoodie's here. Who are you talking to, me? Uh, I mean, you're the only one in who I can talk to. I got a stream going, but uh, I'm not checking the stream. I'm just I'm just recording the stream. All right, and we've got a pie. So Zapawa has made the pie, and um, looks kind of like a hoodie pie. If you ask me. This is um yeah very into the hoodie pie um although. Typically, I would play the redstone in the middle to dissuade the line attack. <laughs> but if you play, the, how far in the middle? Oh, like, just, um... But, actually, the point is, the point of J9 is to dissuade the line attack as well. So. Right. But Nick's so in this anyway. case, I would expect... Yeah, well, Nick sees opportunities in moves like A7 or O13. A7? Okay, he does it. He does it. Oh, sorry, I meant A6. But he goes for B7. Yeah. Not sure why. I mean... I think that people don't like playing on the edge. I think so, too. Um, and to be honest, it's, it is up for debate whether or not it's any better or not. But, but for example... It, it, here, there's a clear difference between playing A6 and B7, and that's already been demonstrated in the fact that white can play B1. Oh, yeah. Whereas I, if it had read it to the A6, then there was no attack on, yeah, so, that, da on that diagonal. So white playing B1 essentially means that white gets a free line of sight on red, and white can put another line of sight on um on red by playing on h h7 but um, right, so but but yeah. red can't play h7 to put that line of sight on 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 b1 because if if he does that it's a suicide move because white controls that location right so what red needs to do now is to preemptively play on a blocking move for a move like H seven. Can we expect? Do, can we kind of expect White to want to play H seven? I mean, I would want to. I would want to. So I, the only reason why I wouldn't as White is because I think there's an impetus. Uh, see, I don't know. If I like this move by Red now because right the cut because looks now cut the cut with tempo. So L seven. Now, but the problem is when so you see that Red controls this whole line from. On, along the horizontal, but of course white will cut because white wants to. It comes with an attack. Comes already, with an attack. Yeah. yeah. So when when you can cut and then attack one, now what? Like, essentially. And the, now, now there's a there's a possibility for the initiation of what's known as a pinwheel. <laughs> not really. The the pinwheel is not possible at this point because white needs to shield. Or sorry, red needs to shield. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. A shield, a shield one will start a pin. Oh, but this is a shield that can instantly be killed, basically. Yeah, if 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 C two is played, then there's just no no hope for that one. So but, white has a lot of good moves here because. But if C two is played, then actually, then red starts a pinwheel with something like H three. Right. Which maybe that's the point. Wait, H three. Yeah. But okay, interesting option. I mean, he didn't do it though. Yeah. Played F. Uh he attacked the other one. one. Yeah, but the the problem with this one is that um, there's a good defensive move in G two. G two looks nasty. Looks kind of nasty. Because G two only would has still have Sente, but. How? How does White still have Sente after G2? Because it's not attacking anything. Yeah, true, true.
true. It's so just a shield. White can still play C2. Which can, but then White couldn't, could not play H3, because it would be suicidal. Okay, so and he could... No, no other shielding move would be an attack. So now, yeah, exactly. Which, I, w I would have done that first of all, in the first place. Me but, too. But, uh, it's not like F1 was a bad move. Um, yeah, maybe not bad, but if you look now, and if he had played C2 in the first place, then it would have looked more territory, territorial for white. So, I mean, red has this one that's dead in the upper left, and then red has pieces kind of scattered everywhere. Yeah, to be honest, white's structure looks a little more, uh, you know coordinated I guess white looks more coordinated yeah yeah white is closer together I've I've personally had problems with the huge he hex mesh <laughs> it's not really it's not a mesh at all we're, we're not, I know. there's no there's all ones it's a bunch of one stacks there's a single two stack for red I think to that's be honest, gonna be kind it of a problem could be, it could be helpful now for Red to allow the white to die and then attack H7 some way. So allow B2 to die? Yeah. And then you want to attack H7. But there's no way to attack H7 because there's a strong line from, from B1 to H7. Um, H3 can do it. H3 can do it, yeah. Uh, that's basically the only way... Because... Yeah, yeah. The point about H three looks good. The point about the strong line. This is a line, unbroken of unbroken control. <laughs> so exactly, this three stack looks pretty. Uh, it breaks the unbroken. It breaks the strong line into, kind of a weak line. It threatens to, but what I would do is just play simply G six. <laughs> Play G six and make a wall. Just and just take control this is of an the attack. location. G six, yeah, nice. Did you do it? Yeah, he did it. Exactly. It's a not only attack. I mean, yeah. And uh, but of course, I mean, you had G six is one of those moves where it's like there's such a imperative to take it you know you know but that actually that's what what almost what nick wants him to do because now uh <laughs> me uh, mm. he plays a1 and now um b1 is under attack not that it's a huge thing but at least this b1 is now safe actually it can be saved by red wow a1 does look like a nice move yeah now the three lines of sight on b2 the two white lines of sight is not sufficient to capture it. That's tricky. And by the way, even like a move such as F6 looks kind of good too. Oh, well, okay. No. It, well, by the way, if, okay, A1, F6, like maybe J, just G3. G2. Yeah, G2. Then B1, take B1. Mm, yeah, even A1 felt, falls to the fact that like now um, G2 is really oh. under attack. And after taking G2, then L7 becomes under attack as well. Should white, should red instead put another shield on the board? But this, these shields are just serving as targets later on. The shields are serving as targets later on. And I guess this is a, of a white has too really... Too big of a structure, hard to defend. Yeah, he needs to concede somewhere and start thinking about smaller, more stronger uh, configurations. Which one would you give up? The on um, the B one. I would or definitely G give up B two and, and like just. But I mean, I Wait. would feel pretty bad as white, to be honest, right now. You would feel bad as white, just because there's no good uh, way to defend and. Personally, I just don't like playing one, one shield. So you would feel bad as red. Oh, sorry, that's what I mean. Yeah, I would feel bad as white to be crushing red so uh, <laughs> mercilessly. <laughs> no, I don't. I know. think 
Zipporah was got some taste for blood, and now he's not going easy on anyone. Yeah. He wants to win his his own game tournament. Yeah, I would probably give up B... I would probably give up G2, even though... Because I like this idea of capturing B B1. Like, so, so, so the problem is that, um, G2 is harder to defend. Mm -hmm. uh, B2 is actually quite easy to defend, even though it's simply a one stack. Oh, but we did, we have, we have the opposite mindset from Nick. Mm -hmm. He plays another shield, which That's right. looks to take control of a large fraction of the board. But I mean, if I were Miha, I would just like play d3 and hit it again. Yeah, I think I, I like that. Oh, but he opts to take. He captures instead. Well, you gotta capture that, eventually. You gotta capture, yeah, but that it gives a lot of time. Now, I would expect to move like g5 from red. G5. Oh, interesting. They, these guys are... Uh, g5? Why g5? Not wasting any time. g5, because... It just further protects G two and like starts to set up some yeah territory. Yeah, I would I would actually wanted to like do an attack on G seven six somehow by putting a third line of side. All right, they're moving really oh, yeah. fast. It's kind of hard to keep up with these two. Okay, so now this move C six is pretty good because it makes a potential for a three on F six. Which, it's good that Zapawa did that because F6 would have been a, a strong attack on uh, G6. Okay. And there's no other way to attack G6 from that side, but there's obviously ways to attack it from... Like, for example, D3 could be a good move here for Red. And why okay. is it that, F, that G6 has become such a crucial central point. I mean, is it the, just the fact that it's in the center, or is it something about its position relative as a cutting stone? Yeah, I mean, you'd think as red, we might just Sanuki and start working on the bottom a little bit. I don't know. The bottom seems big. Nobody's really looking at the bottom. All white stacks are kind of trapped up on the top. If, if red were to say you know, you can have a dominance on the top, but I'll take the bottom. I wonder how Miha would respond to that. Well, they seem to be just really focused on H7 and G6 right now. So we have kind of a pinwheel going on situ situation where the focus is uh, gradually shifting. There's just a bunch of attacks on these two stacks. That's how Definitely I'm seeing it. But, uh, and Miha is just kind of defending it. Yeah. Okay, I like this move by Nick now. Okay. So, B, he He's felt moving. that it, like, is basically safe enough down there. But the question is, did he owe a stone up there? Well, he has this really weak position, I think, in the upper left. I think so, too. I think it could die. For example, with a move like F3, just boom, 3. F3. Then, then it's attacking D3. I, I, it's like, you're moving too fast for me to use to do variations. Yeah. It's just funny because this is like, you know, the semi-finals. This is the big game. This is yeah, the semi-finals, like, yeah. Oh, wow. I think I'm here for white. Um, it, it's anywhere F4, G5, or H6. It's fine. F4, G5. And so, for white, yeah, right? Yeah. 
You said F3 before, also for wide? Oh my god, they're going too fast. Wait, what did they do? What ha what just happened? H6 followed by N10. There N9. H6 followed by N9. This is crazy. Okay, so we got an attack. I mean, so White's basically attacking Red's position, but then it's like Nick said essentially... Instead of trying to reinforce that area, it's just counterattacking elsewhere. Yeah. Just like my meme said. <laughs> he did like but the meme, though. So I think he, he's following the <laughs> the meme <laughs> advice. <laughs> Even though that Definitely. meme is really about act, li li literal reinforcement. Okay, he captures. Okay. What? What? What's going on? So... No. What did he Red finally... just do? F11. <laughs> Why are they going so uh, fast? Oh, oh my god. god. <sighs> okay, that's that's a really good move by Miha, double attack. I mean, the whole all of Red Stones up top are going to die, I think. You think, yeah? I think so. Um, I don't think they all of them. I think he should be able to make life off of some H three because H three H three will live. I think three, the three stacks three aren't going to die, but the two should, stacks will die. Yeah, like a move like H one even now is honestly kind of big. I mean, because you see how that makes territory. So neither of them are listening to the stream, right? They're not. They're they can't. It doesn't even. They, Listening for them to listen to the stream wouldn't even help because we're not even getting their moves in time to exactly. make any meaningful analysis. We, yeah, right. We're not able to analyze. We're not. We're not using. We're not making any like useful. <laughs> <laughs> well, but and neither of them are using fast. the editor, right? They're not using the editor because that would be messed up. That would be really. That'd be F anyone who uses any, the editor. Anyone who uses the editor deserves to die. Think about. <laughs> okay, well. I, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't. I, think, I don't mean okay, that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Should think about what they've editor's done. Editor's awesome. <laughs> editor's awesome. But there's oh Jesus. There's why a time is, and a why place. Why moves always come in a burst of two? So wait. So Encana went F six. And then Zapawa G two takes. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. He's just defending his own stone and a, continuing the massacre. But this move here, G3, that's an attack. That's I an attack. That. Yeah. It's and and you know what should follow is something like uh, probably like yeah. But the problem is white is now just too strong there, so. There's yeah, actually this is, not much point in attacking. Can anymore. you attack? You can attack that one more time. And you can't attack from the C file, so you can go like G, uh, H, H4, for instance. But it doesn't matter? Does it really matter? Is there anything that you mm -hmm. gain from that? It doesn't matter. I think what it would be better now is a move like um, N13, just attacking again. Ooh, or, no, actually even better would be um, J11. J11. Just, cut, just take that spot where the mesh can go, and then... It's not really doing much, but it is blocking out a lot of space. I think it's setting up an attack later. It, it yeah. actually takes control of a huge line. Right. Like, yeah, I like that a lot. I also like what you said about the J, or like, like this attacking move, N13. Okay, so he right. wants to go... E5. I like this attack. Two, two, no, but... Uh, but it doesn't matter, because when he captures... Right. I'm sure you're going to capture. Yeah. Now, now it's an apple-picking situation. Yeah, he needs to get thickness somehow. Because this, this, I think this E5 will also die, probably. Uh, I don't... I don't see any other end to this. And obviously, D four is <laughs> unprotectable, indefensible, irreplaceable. Now, what's interesting is N Conduit's score is so much higher than 
the powers. Is it is that interesting? Well, it just shows that like with it with your with your position, if it, even the things are really tenuous, it can like still look better for you. But Enconowen is red, right? I mean, I think red's winning. Um, but I think so too. But Zapala has got a monster. <laughs> that's true. Okay, Enconowen would score is higher, but and and, and as it stands, Enconowen will like if 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 Enconowen could keep his wall, he would be winning by a lot probably. But the thing is, he's not going to keep his wall, so he wall. shouldn't. Yeah. So I think. Just take the two right now, d4. d4 should die at the moment. And then you start basically whittling away at white's, or at red's uh, moyo. I don't know why he didn't just did. Okay, well, he wants to um, eat out from there. I think that's fine because essentially Nick's attempt to make an attack was just pointless. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, he tried to do this tricky move, but... Mihawk correctly figured out that like he doesn't need to immediately catch her d4 because there's nothing that Nick can do to save it. And so I think after a move like j7 major for white, then the right side is starting to look... Then the score will be reflecting like a little bit more equal, I think. You think... I think after d4 he's captured and then e5 also dies, that's when the score will be reflected. Okay, okay, actually, Miha did what I think needed to be ha needed to happen, which was he needed to back off and let his piece, let his wall kind of die a bit, but like make a stronger wall behind it. Plus, um, if if okay. if if Miha um, cherry pick now or apple pick now, d four, um, so it's a d four, uh, c seven. Now, like c six is gonna die, and that that looks pretty good for red. <laughs> Well, yeah. This are you talking? You're saying this move d7. I I think it's pretty good. I think it's like an old school walling. Yeah, tumbleweed move. It's a super good move, I think. And I think he can just keep keep it up with another strong three. To be honest, um, not anymore. There's no there's no strong three. Okay, like. Miha basically a, made this nice invasion. Ooh, that's a pretty good strong three. <laughs> Although I, I just don't get why he didn't do it on on D nine. D nine. Something. Let's see. He wanted to play here instead. Yeah, it's about the same to me, I guess. It's kind of the same, but yeah, it should be the same. I don't get what Miha's going for. Here. He's trying to be. Miha's trying to inch in his way. He's inching his way best, in. Yeah. Inchworm. And obviously this one stack is I not think, I mean this one stack kind of needs defense, but the thing is it's not going to be easy to defend overall because Miha can already play uh like C eight and just kill off it's indefensible. Indes <laughs> it's despicable. Wow. And D four is dead, right? Yeah. Deliberately Deleterious. Okay. Again, uh, this Miha's actually. He's inching like a mofo at this point. This is like it looks a bit weird right now, but once he kills off this one and creates another two, then it's gonna be See? a nice. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So one will so die. Now one will die. C six will die. But he has to. I mean, Miha can take B seven. If now. I was Miha, I would take B seven. Uh, then of Just course I would it. kill C six as Nick, but then then we're still the problem is we're still I don't know if he's getting very much in in all of this because yeah, he, he might only get like a, he might get a small life yeah small life but maybe and that's he can part part of like what is so hard about tumbleweed is like a little influence goes a long way yeah but I guess Nick Nick had a lot of influence so Nick had a lot of influence and. In, I suppose that uh, Miha could have tried to populate this area earlier. And also, Miha could be doing more tricky moves to kind of like 
um, sustain the invasion. Do you think that Nick will with, just capture with more right now? threats? For example, like you yeah. notice that uh, F11 is has two lines of sight on there already, so Mihawk get, could get a free move by attacking it. Oh right, he needs to do yeah, he needs to do forcing moves. Otherwise, his the whole invasion yeah. is just pointless. That's right, yeah. But I do think this little fidget spinner here on the left is not, like, worthless. <laughs> fidget spinner. <laughs> it's, it's worth. It's, long, it's very worth. It's worth. worth. It's worthy. Also, he can capture the neutral at this point. Henceforth, he at can capture point. the neutral. Although, if, but if I were red, I would just block um, E7 and shut, shut, shut that down. the hell up. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> E seven and plus it, it kills off like it makes it makes this fidget spinner look very sad and look more like a boomerang. <laughs> it would start to become a boomerang. It would start to be boomerang, boomerang very shortly, henceforth. And we get our first uh, move of, that takes more than ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, guys. It's like, hmm, Pretty cool. which one should I capture? Seriously. Oh, yeah, so he blocks, like we say. Yeah, he blocks the neutral. He doesn't want... And now red can capture the neutral. Now what, now what white needs to do here is play... That's a double attack. Yeah, but we kind of knew that red stone was going to die. I think white... Should find an attack somewhere. The white stone. Are you? Are you okay, bro? Huh? The red stone. I said you said, what? You said. I said. I said white should find an attack. You said and that you. We know that red stone was gonna die. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. Um. Okay. This. Yeah. Is... That's why I keep losing all my tumbleweed matches. <laughs> Uh, okay. Nick is creating so a corridor. right into an attack. He's doing an attack. White is doing an attack on... Or Red is doing an attack on White. It's kind of like these guys are just like... They're just spamming. so fast that they just find one as a quick game. I'm in trouble, defend, blah, blah, blah. But they, they, they could be finding better moves, I think. It's like, but did they take so long in the other tournament games? Did they take so short in the other tournament games? Or were they actually thinking of maybe, it? Maybe they're always fast players. Are they just, like, intuitively genius? Yeah, right. Well, this is good. I mean, okay. I think... We're really... Feeling, but, we're seeing the, the raw brilliance here. No <laughs> no calculations. Just, you know... Okay, but just intuition of a, of a... Red of made a mistake, champion. I think. I think Red should have played... Um, yeah, it's where a double White attack. just played... But it's a double attack. Oh my god. This three, that three is saves great. everything. Wow. But now red can at least at least Oh my god. Mm, it's very good for white, I think. Miha. Very good. It's a hot it's a hot, hot move what just played happened there. Really I hot. feel I feel the temperature in the on this board. I can fry an egg on that on that location. <laughs> and I think this is going to be a close one. What's the score? Like we got 71 Spartacus. to 64. Pretty close. <laughs> but there's a lot of moves here that really need to happen. Um, and it's interesting, the red on the lower left is kind of not placed well to block the block moves. Red on the lower left is not placed. I think if red just captures that one two yeah, stack, he'll start yeah, really. Red captures D eight, but you yeah. know that like capturing can often feel like a waste of a move sometimes. But in this case, D eight, like capturing D eight, <laughs> makes um, it's a double attack on its own. It Ooh, that's good. It threatens C eight <laughs> and it threatens. But the problem is, he'll white Mihawk can just protect it by playing on I ten, and that just looks even more crazy. And it it really I makes can. this lower right or lower left wall of 
Were you saying the lower right or the lower left? Because I said the lower left for red. I, yeah. I, I, and I'm not mixing up colors this time. No, red is very unprepared to defend on both lower sides. That's true, but it it does, just by looking at it, it looks like red has more of a presence in the bottom still. Either way, it's, it's there's a storm brewing in the bottom. Yeah, there will be a, there will be a big fight. I'm sure. Obviously, we can see that red has the left now, white has the upper right. So it's really going to come down to who can get the bottom right. I think that'll win the game. The bottom right. Yeah, because white has the upper side, red has the left side probably. And the right side looks yeah. pretty... I think red could make some small life, but not too much. Red has all these stacks that are apparently dead, but also white has some dead stack. Uh, L9 is just dead. Like, yeah, L9 is dead. And, and to be honest, I think red should probably take L9 right now. That looks like making it making the side, the right side fairly red. And even if red yeah. has some like dead stones there... He can use he can use the dead stones to spawn safer ones. Mm -hmm. Like uh, so, say like here and then. Uh, wait one sec, I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. We have finally somebody, like, taking their time in this game. I'm very happy about that. <sighs> We're streaming. It's been a while since we've streamed. And uh, it's also, I think, maybe the first time that I'm streaming, streaming live with Hootie for a tournament game. Well, it's the first time I'm streaming for any tournament game. But also, I was streaming with Hootie a little bit, but... Not so much. I think we did one stream, but it was just between us two. Oh, we got to move? Okay, so we did capture. I think, I mean, it looked good to me. But oh, nice, he took. He took, but that means that Red's basically giving up on both of the stones that Miha was double attacking. Uh, That's fine. I-10 I and uh, L... And what is the most important right now? It would probably be L13. If if Miha captures L13, it's like re it, it looks like okay, yeah, we have these small like one stack moves that Red can do to annoy White, but the fact is White has a three stack in this nice small mesh format. So then, it just I feel like it's I don't know maybe it's not so trivial for White to defend to defend that. We'll have to see. It's not trivial. But also, by the way, like once red takes the neutral stone, then red gets to grow across the middle. If in red takes the neutral monster format. stone. Ah! If red takes the neutral stone, white must... Oh, uh, yeah. It's a sen it's, it's yeah, sente. It white must sente. reinforce. White, red should just like take the neutral... Also, if it's double tech from Nick Connell in here. Ooh, yes, because the thing is, he's is forcing volatile. he's forcing White to capture something annoying. And actually, yeah, it's a double. So then now, and now the double I mean, leads to more doubles. G four, G four, F five, both four, yeah, attack. Yeah. Now, I think that probably wow. there's a way to defend both, or, or not, or he doesn't even Dude. care. D I think he'll now. White can just take D four. Finally, he should. D four. He didn't. He let. He let it go. Which means that now G four is what? is the next thing. What did you just do? You just. Wait. That... You just moved twice. <laughs> I'm confused. No, because Zeppelin took uh, L ten. Where's L ten? Uh, Good lord. 
this is going now too fast. Now, but yeah, that that the three stack was a bit uh, pointless. I do think. Um, oh, we're, yeah, did we know, miss, did he miss the opportunity to do? To take the three stack. At least take the neutral. It's Sente. Yeah, I mean, what are you guys doing? But you know, they have their. So now this is kind of forcing Red to take this neutral. Um, is I, it though? I, yeah, I, I mean, say. I guess I. I really, I think it's just a nice thing to do because this one stack on the lower side is very unprepared for battle. Right. It's not prepared for battle. If the three stack is apparently again. kind of a mistake from Nick, I think. Also, there's three lines of sides on F9, so uh, it's a bit... It's a bit scary. Yeah, but I also don't really like this white two on i nine because it once red takes the neutral, it immediately is under attack again. Yeah, but then he'll just take the j nine that red just played, and he'll be super safe. J nine. Oh, that is yeah, that's true. Sadly, now the score is pretty close, but. Uh, I actually think red is doing a lot better now than okay. white because red has a lot of stuff on both sides. White has this neuro strip. A neuro strip. <laughs> did you say neuro strip? No. What did you? A neuro strip. Neuro. He's got a neuro strip. Neuro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now the obvious move is taking. I a think while so to too. Find. The taking the four, the three into a four. Yeah, and it's oh, like he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He instead did what? I Dude, that, that was a mistake. That was a mistake that was because because now H nine is basically um, going to defend against the attack. Yeah, and start its own attack on uh, I eight. Yeah, plus I nine. Being taken leads to and saves J nine. It's a whole turn yeah. of it's a whole twist a, of fate it, now. It's a gourmet can of worms. It's a <laughs> he's just opened this this move on F ten has just opened up a gourmet can of worms. <laughs> are we getting okay? Are we getting and I think that's accurately reflected in the score now. It, now the computer program sees. Sees the danger? <laughs> sees the danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because now, like, and now the fact that all this is safe, I8 is dead. Oh, wait, you already said that. Yeah. I already said that. It's dead. And then, even then, white has a chance. White. <laughs> but, you I know, mean, even I... after white takes, takes like, uh, L13, um, the score would be really almost equal. L13. Yeah, just like capturing one of the stones that's already... Or, or that's for instance, true. Um, like uh, F11. Which I think probably he should do. Um, or I guess you can capture still D4. And it's not as advantageous for the score, but it's probably better in the long run than those other ones. It's, I, I have the feeling we might be saying a resignation. Soon. Well, Zapawa is one to prematurely he's, he's resign. Famous for, he's famous. Yeah. He's infamous for just giving up in the middle of a tense battle when he's slightly behind. Okay, here we have a oh wow, an equalizing move, dude. That's insane. And a forcing move. Is it forcing as well? Why? Yeah, it's forcing to take. Why? I. I think there's a, a lot of, well, I, mean, I would just take as red, and I, I would feel like. I don't think out, it's forcing the, t the capture at all. Like, what is... It's not, okay, it's not forcing, but now red, white could reinforce. Yeah, but if white That's reinforces, all. then still you can put a fourth line of sight on it. Actually, if, if I was red here, here's what I would do, is just block. Dude, Red just did something crazy. 
Red's saying, you know what? Go on with your go on know. with your little invasion. What did Red do? You know what would be would have been good for Red is K eight. Oh wow. Yeah, N fourteen. K eight. Yeah, yeah, K eight. The blocks and then allows you to block saving the L thirteen later. Yeah, K eight looks pretty cool. So Yeah, K eight looks awesome. three. Now we've got a three. Just playing a three where others cannot. Where others can. Yeah. Well, what's going on with me? Up is down. Red, Red is, is white. white. Can is canned. Worms are canned. <laughs> it's a wacko world for Hootie this morning. A wacky Hootie. A wacky Hootie appears. I'm having a wacky Sunday hootie time. But this three stack doesn't seem to it really yeah, do it's not anything. Like, I would just... I think better would be just taking L13 instead. Yeah, this capturing the stones. Because once you start capturing, you also take away the strength of other nearby future stacks of the opponent. Yeah. Okay, so red thinks it's important how to take. Which, I mean, I'm all for taking. I'm a, I'm a proponent of taking as I'm well. I'm a proponent of taking. I think this whole island could die at this point. Me too. Which is crazy. I mean, if he doesn't reinforce H7, definitely. like. Uh, even if he does reinforce, it still might die because um, all G4 and F5 are both basically dead. I'm surprised that this G4, uh, D4 uh, paradox has not been resolved yet. Well, this is what I was saying before when I noted that if the neutral stone gets taken, then then red is allowed to bridge the gap between its two territories on the right, left and right. So right, right. And This is just what's happening. And bridgement has commenced. Oh, indeed. But... <laughs> It turns out that, uh, because the thing is, this would work, because uh, white, yeah, if if uh, G4 and F5 weren't already kind of in grave danger, now we have three two stacks in a row, which oh are going to die. I mean, they may not die, but they are all I don't think they attack. should have to die. I think white could... If you just play um, G5, you protect most of them, but still, it's a bit tricky. He, he, this is what I thought maybe would happen. Turn it into four and cut your losses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, after... it's a bit sad because because red's getting walls on both sides and white is just concerned about the safety of this puny little area. Exactly. The... I mean, that it, and we all know how that feels. It feels. It. it what did what did what did Liberté say? That he was crawling. That you were crawling. It, it feels like you're crawling it through a sewer to get out of prison or something <laughs> it's, it's pretty pretty accurate it's humiliating yeah um but but i wouldn't say that about not that's what, not what's going on here doing that's here. just how what you were doing <laughs> oh wait what? that's how liberté said that's I how liberté so said that Woody was forever yeah this is not what's going on here this is just um well it is so no kind of like that it's there is some crawling action. There is some there. crawling action. There's a, and look, I mean, I know how it feels to crawl. I crawled against you yesterday on size ten. I was crawling for life in and the gutter. That crawling it ended up being your saving grace. Uh, I ended up dying pretty hard for most of it. Well, you won. So. I did win, so my crawling <laughs> at least didn't lose me the game. <laughs> And now, if you look at this, I mean, white has a little tendril of life. A living tendril. But I feel like it's going to be eaten away by the sands of time. Well, I think what what white needs to do is make it four on J7 now. And just be like, oh, as he does. Do we make four? Okay, so yeah. probably most, I mean, at least some of this will survive. And look, if even if White is able to make 
I think Red should play the three on K eight. It's just like you know, top. this is all fine and good, but White has major potential to take the whole bottom, and he's not caring about yeah. that at all. Yeah, it's a lot bigger points. I think it's bigger points. Like, making your own captures. Like, look, right now, no, he has to invest. He invested all these stones. He has to keep it alive. But, like, I don't know, 10 moves ago? 15 moves ago. Probably not. Yeah, so if I'm... If I'm white here, I'm saying, okay, it's done. It's done. My one stack's not going to survive. Let me I mean, just capture maybe, to, maybe he should reinforce uh, on H7, but why not just... Okay, he's forcing capture. Oh, That's here fine. we go. That's pretty good, I think. But, Alec. Huh? F11 is hanging. You know, I think that's a great move. F11 is hanging. Yeah! Yeah! It's been like that the whole freaking time. And L13. And which it could... I think that's great, yeah. But why is he going up there? Um, Maybe it's another forcing move. Or, um, or maybe it's just like kind of closing up shop on the top. I don't know. Okay, he's threatening if, if he can... Make an I five, I five. Oh wow! But yeah. but but then he forced a response, and also the I um the the two stack on I six is still not in danger. So here's the perfect time to just move away from the middle, go to the bottom, take control. If you take both uh F eleven and L thirteen in one move, if you can t play two moves at once, then you'll bring the score back to even. <laughs> But what I, what if red takes H seven? Does that kill everything? Or is H seven. H seven. Um no H seven. Then you just capture, or then you just reinforce. Okay, so red still has that as a. Okay. It's just a forcing is. move that doesn't. It is it, a pointless exchange. What happened? What? And count on moves J6 take. Okay. But I don't know why this I what is this I3? J6? Yeah, he did that, and then I3. Okay. Exactly. I guess I3, maybe he is thinking about uh, H2? Maybe getting the corner, like, because red, the territory in the upper right is still a little ambiguous, but. Yeah, I know, but I don't see that it's enough. Yeah, especially okay. I so I saw this happening, but then now, is, now, now, yeah, now it's a double attack, and also it's a double attack. Reds get like white can live in Gote. Red will end up with Sente again, and then defend these big, big captures that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I. I I do think it's better to but reinforce. Let's see if let's see if um, actually Nick will probably not. I mean, Nick probably doesn't need to capture this two stack that was just played on i three. Right? Yeah, he does. He does. But he does because he's like <laughs> he views it as a very important activity right now. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Miha has a second chance at life. Yeah, here we go, Miha. Hey, Miha this is yeah. your shot. <laughs> Everything Don't fuck it up. Settled. Move. <laughs> Set it down. It's like if, it's like tum strong tumbleweed players hate to capture. They hate to capture. They hate, they hate to make yeah, big exactly. captures. It's like what? Wait, what just happened? What just happened? What did, F4. What did F4? Why F4? Yeah, because it's going to make a, a four stick somewhere. <laughs> All right. This is the most four stacks I've seen. All right, he wanted to... I think like, the takeaway from this game is, like, there's there's big moves that just aren't being made. Yeah, but, like... <laughs> I mean, I mean, but then they just keep being available, so you can't really... <laughs> like, now is a good time to, again, just reclaim the bottom. Oh, my God.
That's why I get so I'm getting so mad looking at this game. I know, especially because a move like this, although it looks scary for red, I mean, it's much more important now for red to defend its stones on the bottom. Yeah. Then even to let e5 be taken, it's not a big deal. E5, it's small potatoes. It's a, one, it's a one point, yeah. It's one point. And that's the thing. I think the Go players, the really strong Go players that have recently joined, they really think about the value of each move in terms of points because that's how you play endgame and go. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't really do that so much. Not yet, yeah. I've I been, mean, like, a little bit. I do it a little it's bit. It's more qualitative, yeah. Yeah, just how it feels. Yeah, how it looks, how it feels. Like, I have the feeling that these these captures on the lower side, which have not been played yet, are big. Yeah. I don't really know. But the thing is, the fact that they can be defended, and the fact that they... they yeah, if they get defended, it, then there's big life for it on the, on the bottom, I think. Or, like... Medium sized life. Medium sized with a with a side of worms. With a side of <laughs> <laughs> So red decides to capture. Which to capture. Which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, they could have been like I think that should have been left for endgame. Um, I would have played um K thirteen. I don't know if it's good, but I would have done something to try to save the stone just to make it harder for white. Yeah, I would have maybe saved the stone on. Are we saying bullshit? Because you know, maybe like maybe maybe even after red plays a two stack on. Um, oops. Oh wow. Well. A seven. Well, by the way, now red did just save his stone. Which yeah. Is pretty cool. And yeah, now it looks pretty bad for. That white. looks awesome. Yeah. I mean. Okay, this attack is reinitiated, but now Red can do something like a four stack on uh, mm -hmm. H11. Four stack, yeah. That's what I was thinking. The four stack on H11, it's not like... Um, I mean, White can't even do much... Okay, White could play... The thing is, um, there'll be a tendril of life, a neural link. <laughs> Where? Uh, all the way, stretching all the way from the middle down if uh, the four stack is played. If, right, that it, they plant a seed for a garden grow, yeah. A red garden. garden. Yeah, a red garden. And I mean <laughs> <laughs> And there's all these kind of like these two stacks. Oh, but hey, oh. Look, finally we have that that great move. Wait, what the hell? So L fifteen? What what was L fifteen? Oh, a one a forcing move to force the capture. Oh, wow! Why? <laughs> why? Why did know. he force? It? Especially because he could have defended now, it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Nick, and, this and better now, be good. This better be good, Nick. Well, we'll see. He's what he's got up his sleeve. Yeah, he's got like uh, a potential forcing move on, uh, like a two stack on J fifteen, which could threaten to capture J thirteen. Uh, but the problem is no, because this whole thing, this one stack, like, is immediately under attack. Yeah, that's the problem. Red Elves have another weak, weak one stack on H13. And, um, uh, Red has a dead on F11. Oh, but that's a three. That's but that's a, a three. That's, that's a sniping three. That's, is it sniping? Well, I just didn't see the two on these three fours. So. Right, right, right. Sniping in its creation. That is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is. That is I'll a very humble weed it concept. Was, uh, before its time. <laughs> it's like it's like if, if you if you have a sniper rifle loaded with sperm, <laughs> of a plant of a tumbleweed. That's yeah. Maybe with seeds, yeah. With seeds. But. But or. What you said is already out there, so. <laughs> No, going a back. sniper of creation, yeah, I'm saying. So now White is attacking me before. But White, did White need to? White. The well, White's, open, White's attacking this. before, yeah, I like that a lot, actually. I like it, and he let, he let it go. 
And so maybe maybe Nick just didn't see the snipe actually, because it is true. it is a snipe. Uh, this 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 I don't understand. What Not that the snipe itself gets him much. I mean, the two, the four stack I think still would have been way better instead of the two stack. So now because that would have protected against what the move that just happened. On F11. Oh, yeah. Oh, so he goes to take that. I think that's actually better than taking B4. But, he, but B4 is still available. No. Oh, yeah, it's still available, but White had the option of between F11 and B4. So yeah. He takes F11. Yeah. Right, because Red can defend. Uh, and I think, say, if White is able to take um, G13 or H13. It just bothers me because he should have taken that. To me, it's my personal opinion. I'm only two for two in the tournament, but <laughs> definitely take H13. Now. Definitely take H13. There's no question. <laughs> it's it's he's again. Nick is forcing captures that he could be defending. Yeah, I don't get this whole mindset. And Zapawa's score is sneaking back. Yeah, although there's not so many ways for Zapawa to um like gain although b4 capture and also o13 so like yeah no, also some move oh yeah o13 exactly that's what i was gonna say o13 followed by o10 it's like a nice like this way to extend because then you can play on o so now definitely i don't I, i'm just okay well okay h H12 was it's... impossible to defend. So, but now does that mean that H12 was it impossible? No, just... really. I'm... I but now so. the the move that you just played is impossible to defend. So there better be something good coming from this. It seems like a lot of just sequences of just like of just you're just like ensuring one, your own one, death. One away from suicide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about uh, J14? Because that's a, a forcing move. Mm -hmm. Is it even? Does it, is it even forcing really? Because even wait, J fourteen. Yeah, J fourteen. You, you can you, capture the three, but then that? you end up with um, no. It doesn't. You can capture on uh, I thirteen right after that. G fourteen happened. So what do you think he's going to take now? He doesn't need to. I kind of want to play G fourteen. Um, oh, what just happened? What just happened? G twelve take. Yeah, he took. Uh, right, so they're kind of Beast stuff like take. Nick's plan to what? create a, a tiny group on the lower side, but then it got interrupted by his desire to capture this. He, I don't well, know. I still think White has a chance to get some points back from B4. I think he should. Uh, nobody sees. Neither, neither those guys are like thinking that this is... Because they're I, they're focused on on what's going on like on these shapes like Nick I bet, is that how I bet can, can, sees it. Is that they both see it but like neither of them I think want to do that right now. I think it's a lot of points actually. Exactly, this is what it predicts. Now I think it's a great chance to do it. This now Miha is going to do it. Now Miha will take I, this. I bet. You bet, and then White will be ahead. Bit, yeah, White will be ahead if White captures B4 for the like <laughs> first time in a while, I think. But mind you, no, don't mind you, don't mind me. Okay, he takes B4, and he's ahead. <laughs> okay, so Miha's Miha's listening to the stream. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh shoot! Why? Why? Dude, why are we like? Too. We are. Why? Why are we so far behind in this tournament, dude? We have like well, these super strong opponents. On my end, I was kind of hungover. <laughs> these for my games. These games. But Alec, check this out. What? What? E five is still hanging. That I think is it's now a good time. True. Ooh, that's a nice. Well, is it? Is it still just? It's still just one point. But you could start. You could make a four though. A four on e seven. If you take e five. Oh, that's but true. But I'm pretty sure red would just follow up with e six. Yeah, no, he wouldn't let that happen. But it'd be interesting. 
I, I don't think this two stack make this two stack. Was he capturing oh, something or what? what wow. was the point? You know, it's oh a two. You think or oh the two? I mean, I just don't know a why two. he played what he just played. No, I don't think it's good. I he he does basically kind of threaten to take control of a of a line. Okay, so what did White do? He played just this one. Another three. This th it's not just another three. This three is an attacking three. Yeah. Kind of claims quite a bit. And now I'll look at the score at eighty to eighty. Wow. This game is crazy. This game is crazy. Fast. Fast, rough and nice. ready. High impact. Hot and ready. And uh, and also complex shapes as well, which yes. is, you love to see. You, you'll love to see them, and you'll love to hate them <laughs> <laughs> while you're playing. You're like, yes, what is yeah. going on? And what I like about this move is, if which, I mean, it does force Red to close up the spot between, yeah, which he does, because <laughs> you, if you take E5, and if you take... G nine. E five. No, it's not. It's not happening F6. anymore. He got the Nick. Not Nick has it on lock. I know Nick, and then and now of course, he comes back with a nut. With, with oh, oh, move. rough. Sorry, Nick. Well, I think it's still close. I think it's just not a good way. Once you once you get apple picking, then there's two two stacks that are gonna die. Whoa! What just happened? Oh my god! Um, so. D11. And. Yeah. And then D9. The yeah. thing is, I think that that basically is all uh, futile. Is that the word? Yeah, I don't. Because it's futile for sure. It's futile. Because white can make a two anywhere along there. White's not. Well, the thing is, red can't make a three anywhere along there. That's the point. And that's really the point, isn't it? I think the point, yeah. Red, because the whole thing is to control by white, except for this line of two stacks by two, which will, by, by red. Red is essentially <laughs> co converted into... Uh, did you just have a hoodie-ism? Red is two now. <laughs> 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 because there's all these red two stacks, and I'm thinking red is uh, turned into this color, which represents two. The, the so, two. If you look at the clock... Zapala has actually gained ten. <laughs> <laughs> Zapala is a is an intuitive genius. Zapala is actually going back in time. <laughs> Zapala has got a time machine on this shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I need so, to censor myself or what. I feel like so I think that. Nick is. Digging deep here. I feel like we don't have enough followers to worry about language. Yeah. To get reported. The I curse? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. No, I just okay. I cursed a couple of times. Is it Nick? Nick. Oh. Okay. It's an attack. Oh. Though. Oh, Nick. It's beautiful. No, no, it's not beautiful. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. But, no, I mean, just play the three on G13. Oh. That shuts it down. That shuts the whole operation down, yeah. Yeah. It's a nice try. It's but, a nice try. But the thing is, Nick will survive in the bottom left small. Small. Wow, wow. Wait, he didn't... Nick didn't... Or what Zabawa did, didn't do what, what he was supposed to do. No, he didn't do it. So he he kind of let... <clears throat> but, um, he can let Nick live a little bigger, yeah. Yeah. Mm, but it's kind of nice. This is still fine. Wait, wait a second. Yeah? No, Look this... at J15. Um, no, it's a it's a sequence of H15 as red and then you can play it through and red will have that little life. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Yeah, this, but it's not, red needs. Not the thing nothing. is, red. I think red needs to do it. Otherwise, he loses it again because the problem. The problem. Red's kind of annoyed because red would like to save L fifteen. Yeah, there's just I think no that's way. What, that's 
That's probably what Nick is considering right now. He can't oh, wow, save he, it. Oh, he just let everything die. Ooh, but maybe he... Definitely, as why I would just take those six points, because that's kind of huge. Um, you mean White would uh, play on I-15 right now? Oh, or yeah, I-15, but then L15. Red can reinforce once. Still some form of life, but... Dude, dude like, this this game is crazy because it looked like at the beginning that Miha was killing it. Then Nick just all of a sudden was killing it, and Miha was really <laughs> struggling. Now it's even again. I know it's crazy. It's a really good game. And 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 like also there were these moves that I thought were so important, but it didn't look it didn't even really matter that whether Miha played them or not because he ended up playing them eventually. Nick didn't play the moves that prevented them. Also, why not just like why not just capture stuff? Capture, yeah. And also I like a move um for white E2. E2. Um, because it forces something. For red or for white? For white. For red. Forces red. Okay, wait, we have a <clears throat> move here. So, I think white needs to cut. Cut, like on uh, uh, N13, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go back and look at E2. E2 is a double attack. I mean, those stones are... One of them's supposed to be reinforced, one of them's supposed to be dead, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe that's later in game stuff. So. Yeah, but I think this move is good in any way, like what, what Miha just did. L15, yeah. Just, like, but, clean it yeah, up shop. It gets things going. White is ahead. And at this point, yeah. Nick has very little chance of coming back. Okay, you could play A2 with red, maybe? And make some confusion. Make play uh, E2. <laughs> confusion, is, confusion? A, is an important part of the, the game. Uh, okay, so, but now white needs to defend. Um, but the thing is, the defense is not so difficult. No, it's good for for white to defend here. It's pretty easy. Like, Miha played exactly the move I was thinking. Um, yeah. But now I think that uh, Red might play on uh, M14. Right. That's right. He did. So now it doesn't matter. Basically, White can Does just he reinforce? reinforce again. Because this other one's going to die anyway. Right. So just. So and, just and White's ahead. Reinforce, take, and then you get. Uh, N14 too. So and then N, N Condon played M15 and he captured. And now he's actually apple picking. Wow. Yeah. Like all these moves that Nick just played again are just gonna die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And another one. So now White doesn't even need to wait. White um, does not need to capture. Like, White is good to capture N14, but then now Red has yeah, sent a. That's a yeah. end game later. Red has sent to I think White should maybe have instead gone for I-15. Mm, yeah, it's a little bit bigger, I think, to play I-15 rather than... Bigger. Like here, basically. Oh, uh, <coughs> Red's doing some kind of invasion? This is <laughs> not really an invasion. It's just a natural expanding endgame. I think that... Well, the thing is, probably White will just play A-3... And white, or like basically, red will have a. Heart. Oh yeah, a three is good, and then also, yeah. yeah I guess I mean what Smiha did is pretty good too. I mean it's the, it's equally good, right? C three. Yeah, I mean you're gonna need that too. <laughs> but I think I think that like red should have prepared that first with some other moves that put more lines of sight on before. Mm -hmm. Oh, now this is an interesting thing. White needs to play H9. So, oh, otherwise he'll lose. Did this end up working? Because now, yeah, like H H9 or G9 is there. 
Why didn't red just take d9? Well, because he's going for another forcing thing. Um, this is weird. This is super weird. I guess he'll. So defend. he does take d9. He, yeah. He. No, he reinforced. Yeah, he reinforced, and then he takes d9. So what's the score? It's like so close. Wow, what is what? But then there's one <laughs> dead red stone, two dead red stones, three, three, yeah, three be, dead red more, stones. Should be more, yeah, three. So Four, white, I think. It, what? Is, and then like Miha's Neuralink is still fully active. Oh yeah, it's deep in. Why did deeply that implanted Miha's, in in this move by Miha was uh, kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. <laughs> Because red need red can still make more. No, like actually, no. It's it's good. It's good. I think what what Miha do is he's taking he's taking the the neutral point now. Yeah, red red playing here doesn't really change anything. No, it shouldn't. Yeah. It do, it really doesn't. No, just as white play e four and take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, you don't even. Yeah. What? Just e just e four is super nice to just like like he has to re he has to um like Nick would have to play e five reinforce and then and then e two dies. Yeah, so then I'm just waiting for me to play i fifteen. I fifteen is the one move that wins way more points than any of the other moves. Recent exactly, moves. it's a big move. I mean, it's it's the, like the big move because then like. Let's look at the sequence. Let's see if they actually play it in the game, but if they don't play it in the game, then we have to go through the sequence. So, let's see. White goes here. Red will defend. White will capture. And now this three steps oh, is in, he played it. Yeah. He did it? Oh, amazing. So let's He just... didn't even play E4, which he doesn't need to. So the thing is, there's no, there's no reinforcement for H14. So you have to play on the... I think you have to play here... Then you have this, and then this. Oh, well, there's like a bunch of moves happening. Oh, but he didn't do it that way. He did it a different way. And it works fine. Hang it's on. all dead. I mean, it. No, but asked. no, Nick did it a different way. Oh wait, um, it's not all dead necessarily. It, it, it's it, still. It's all about this H14. If the H14 could be a three stack. So here's what I, I'm saying. Um, Nick could play uh, right now. Nick could play f13 and then play h15 as a two. That's living. F13. Oh wait. No. That he gets three points that way. Oh 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 oh. Yeah, you see. Like that. Like make a three stack. I'm not looking at the editor, but yeah, a three stack on f13 gets you one. No. No, that doesn't matter. It doesn't help at all. Even then, White will just take the two and then. No, that's so why he needed. All this is dying. Yeah. That's why he need. It's it's good that that he did what he did just now, and then he'll take. Oh, it, well, oh, he good. can make the life. Then make F thirteen. Yeah. I mean, of course, Miha is going to capture here. That's why. That's why he should have done it earlier, but it didn't really matter. I think. White, Be, no, because the no, thing is, there's no Miha, or sorry, Nick should have played there earlier. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But in the end, like, what did he lose in the in in all of that? Like two points. Probably we're like uh, losing our crap for something that is pointless. Okay. Um. No, it, he would have had more points, like three more points, which might be. But he's gonna lose one, two, three, four, five, six stones, and he's already behind. So. Congrats to Miha. Miha <laughs> really, really deserved this win. This Definitely. was a great game. This is crazy. <laughs> and he's up. He's increased to forty-two, almost forty-three minutes on the clock. He's going back in time. <laughs> I don't know how both of these guys are like playing so fast. I was struggling so much in my games. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious white is only going to increase the score. Yeah.
There's not really much. Beef, beef or, oh yeah, whatever. Take, reinforce, take A2. Yeah, it's whatever. reinforce, yeah, right? Yeah. Miha. Miha. Oh, he didn't reinforce, but he did. He didn't do? No, he did reinforce. No. He did reinforce. No, he didn't. Just take E5 now. He just took, he just played E5 reinforce. Oh, I'm behind. I no, guess. I'm behind. What? No, N11. Oh, shit. N11. E5. Wait. A2. <laughs> okay, now I'm back. E5. Oh, Nick didn't, uh, M15. Nick didn't need to make that three, but it doesn't matter. G14. Nick Conwin passes. And Zapawa is the winner. And it's so crazy because Alec, remember when I was like, a resignation is coming? Yeah. And I'm sure Zapawa felt the same way. Yeah, I thought he was, I really thought that uh, Miha was going to lose. Yeah, me too. By, like, by resignation. But he me just, too. like, he just fought and then he just went and slapped Nick around a bit and just, like, all the moves that I thought that he's supposed to move, make... It didn't matter. He was still winning well, all, the whole it's time. Because, I think it's because Nick waited too long to reinforce those stones. And remember that sequence where he was like, kept on playing those forcing captures? Yeah, like, yeah. Nick Nick could have made so much more trouble in the bottom. And he just kind of like was like, here you go. Take all this territory. I'm just going to let you exactly. kill me. Ah, that made me so mad. And this, And there was so much <laughs> apple picking in this game. What? Yeah, in fact, there were so much apples this season that some of them just didn't even get picked. They fell on the ground. They just some, fell on their some own. Some grazing deer. Some... <laughs> <laughs> and now we need Zapawa Atari. Now we need. Now we really need Zapawa Atari. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be insane. Is that happening today? And no. we need. And we need. Uh... Polina Val. No, we are, Polina Val already happened. Oh, who won? Val. Awesome. Val. Shoutouts to both both those amazing players. Val killed it. Yeah, and no, the game. I mean, like uh, the tournament is very close to uh, completion. We need Tybalt Pinya. Oh yeah, wow. Well. Tybalt, Pinya. So, what That'd happened in, in round two? Pinya beat Tybalt. But then they're coming back for another bout. But now they're tied for the only new players in the tournament, uh, leaving the fourth round with three points. And all other players who are that have three points are not new players. And all the other new players have less than that. Except for Atari, who won everything. Uh, I mean, except for these guys. Nick yeah, and yeah, yeah, Zapawa. Yeah. And so now it's Zapawa. It's Zapawa. Yeah. And whoever wins Zapawa Atari won the whole tournament. Yeah. Atari yeah. already won $100 first prize for the best new player. And Jiren could have been in the running... For this, but he just lost to NGF earlier today. Okay, well, NGF, I'm glad to hear he's. And I was so. I yeah, uh, I was I was so proud to see the NGF's moves. <laughs> like just he was just like playing like a real, like, like a, a go, real pro. He was like playing like a go master in That's, tumbleweed. I mean, I he, think he really I had think the NGF has a high ceiling. For, yeah, NGF has potential. Tumbling. And uh, so that, that knocked Jiren out of the running. So now Tybalt, having lost Pinya in the second round, will come back to get his revenge, maybe, or Pinya will slap him back down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a really exciting tournament, and uh, I'm really on my toes <laughs> as to what's going to happen. I'm really glad that you were also able to stream with me the whole time versus yeah, having I'm to leave surprised. in the middle to go on your bike ride. 
yeah, but now I'm going to go on a bike ride. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. As, uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome in Omaha, Nebraska. The sun is out. The bikes are out. Uh, in, in Stockholm, it was supposed to rain. And then we went and had uh, a walk with the lab uh, uh, to Kungstergården and saw people playing chess, saw the cherry blossoms. Uh, it was really beautiful. That sounds amazing. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop recording and stop streaming. Yeah. I'm going to go.